Hi, I'm Gary from Gary Marsh Quality Decorators and I'm part of the Tree of Decorator Review Team. Today I'll be reviewing these two products here. It's the Polyvine Exterior Wood Varnish, both in clear finishes. Um, but before I do that, could you please um, subscribe to the Tree of Decorator TV channel, click the bell at the top of the page and you'll be notified of any future reviews by the team. And there's also comment boxes below, always interested in on your feedback of the products we review. Uh, so any, anything, just pop in them boxes there. Also, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. if you want to follow us on them. Okay, back to this, a few facts. Uh, it's an exterior wood varnish for hardwood and softwood. Uh, it comes in a satin and a dead flat finish. finish. Polyvine are the only manufacturer to make a dead flat matte finish in exterior varnish. So bear that in mind when you're, you're giving your customers options for their finishes on their external timbers. Uh, it's acrylic, clear acrylic hybrid. Um, especially formulated to protect against exterior against like ultraviolet light and rain damage and it's also microporous um, which is good. Um, to achieve the protection of the UV you need to follow this procedure. You need to put three coats of the satin on then if you want a coat of the, the matte, the dead flat. But like I said the, the work is done in the three coats of the satin. That's where it's after three coats, it's protected from UV rays. And um, then again, like I said, the option to put the mat on. But you can leave it at just three coats of satin if you prefer the, the, the satin finish. But um, if, if you want the matte finish, which is um, again an, an extra option, you just put that straight on top. Okay. Um, it comes in 500 mil, one litre and two and a half litre tins. Uh, the one litre tin is roughly about 25 pound, and I think the the, the, the two and a half litre is roughly about £60, just under £60, uh, which to me is the average price for a decent exterior varnish. Um, it covers around 20 square metres per litre, and can I just mention, uh, you can't use this on oak and exteriors, because uh, those who know your timbers, you'll know oaks are very uh, strange timber to paint outside, and uh, this product isn't for oak, just uh, normal softwoods and hardwoods. Uh, there is other products available for oak, um, if you want to look them up. Uh, if you want any more information, you can go on the uh, Polyvine website. Uh, there's loads of fact sheets and data on there to uh, help you along. Okay, uh, so the general application of this product, um, like I said, it's for, it's for new wood, um, but again, I would probably degrease and maybe give the, the new timber a light sand down to get rid of, rid of any contamination, because uh, it could be lying in a builder's yard for God knows how long, or whatever. Um, previously painted timber, You've got to strip all the remaining, all the existing uh, paint from it with a 60 to 80 grit sandpaper. Um, so it's, it's, again, gets rid of the previous paint surface before you apply this. Um, when applying the varnish, as you would always, uh, just apply it like liberally, you know, like build it up slowly type of thing. Because obviously, you know, varnish is prone to getting thick edges and they, they don't look nice, especially with a clear finish. Um, the drying time is approximately two hours. Uh, the recoil time, four hours. Depending on weather conditions, really, um, and the cure time is around five days uh, before it's completely hardened off. Um, just a, a thing, just to remind you, that the, for the UV rays, give it three quarters of satin. That's where the, the, the work is on that. And obviously, like I said before, there's options to dead flat my finish on top. I'm using this product on an exterior table to the side here. It um, was purchased about a year ago, um, beginning of last spring. And it was left out all over the summer and into the autumn, and it's it's really faded. It hasn't had much protection at all, so that's why we're uh, reviewing this product on and trying it out on. And uh, so I'll be uh, showing you how it goes. Okay, so I've got the table here. Um, it's previously been varnished or stained with something, um, so I'm going to take that surface off using my dustless sander. Um, I'd just like to point out at the moment, obviously this is the exterior varnish we're using. Um, at the moment, it's minus two outside. Hence why I'm doing it indoors, uh, just so you know, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the table's all being sanded, it's all dust free, and it's back to its uh, like original bare state. Uh, I'm about to start varnishing, put the first coat of satin on, remember it's three coats of satin, and if you want, a coat of the dead flat mat on top of it. Um, so I'm about to start, and I'm obviously I've been given these um, varnish brushes, so you can see they're quite thin. 
uh, the actually made for this product uh, so you don't put too much uh, like varnish under this on the surface so we'll give this a go yeah straight away you can see the, the grain of the timber coming through nicely again put it on liberally not too heavy if you don't want any thick edges and things like that The varnish itself is like a, like a milky finish, which is the norm for most water-based varnishes. And it, it seems to go on quite nice. Obviously this is going to a bare surface, so it pulls slightly. And uh, no doubt when I put extra coats on, it'll be more of a smoother finish. Just being careful there to wipe any thick excess edges off. See that you don't really see on the camera, but the, the timber as the varnish goes on the bare timber, it's darkening slightly to show its natural state. You can probably see here better in this shot. How it you can see there, how it brings the green out lovely. And obviously this has been a satin finish. This coat would have been the first coat on bare timber, probably won't have much of a sheen because the first coat probably gets absorbed straight into it. Um, but obviously the more coats go on, the sheen level will get that a little bit higher. So just make sure you any excess varnish off. You see a slight sheen there, but obviously it's still wet at the moment, but I imagine as more coats go on, the sheen level will get a bit higher. Okay, so over the last two days, this tabletop has now had three coats of the satin varnish. I left approximately three to four hours in between coats, because it's a pretty warm room. Uh, and as you can see, hopefully by this picture, the sheen level the satin is quite nice, the timber stands out well. You can see it's a slight sheen there. Uh, overall, it was nice to go on as well uh, in between coats. Um, actually, the first coat when it dried, I, th I thought it might dry a lot matted with it being bare timber, but even that had quite a sheen, so I was quite impressed by it that way. Um, I've decided I'm going to try and put the flat matte finish on, on top of this because uh, I think I prefer that. Because uh, I'm one that likes wood to look natural, not with a sheen, but each to the one, really, if you want to leave it that. It's had the three coats now, so it's UV protected. And uh, so I'll uh, I'll get a coat of the, the dead flat varnish on top of this and see how that dries. Okay, so my outdoor table is now complete. Um, it's had three coats of the satin, which gives it the UV protection it's needed. And I decided to go over the top with the dead flat finish which is now dried and it's, it's a lovely flat finish, nice and even, uh, looks very natural, uh, which I wanted, uh, so that's turned out well. Um, the use of the, the actual varnish brush itself that was supplied, it's, it doesn't overload the paint, um, because if you know with varnish, especially water paste ones, if you overload them in the, in the corners and things, the, the varnish gathers, it dries white, which isn't very nice at all. Um, so that's I say it's a really good tool to use with it. Um, my overall opinion um, of the, the varnish itself is 9 out of 10. Um, nice application and like I say the, the, I'm more impressed with the dead flat varnish because there's no other flat varnish that exteriors anywhere on the market at the moment. There's only probably mine do that. Um, so maybe just give that one a go. So my table now is ready to go outside in the spring and hopefully I won't have to maintain it for another three or four years. I suppose that depends on the British weather. 
And so, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, please subscribe to the Trade Decorator TV uh, on YouTube and click the bell button and you'll be notified of any future reviews by the team. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, thanks. Bye now.